Ladies and gentlemen, it's been over two years since we brought you the last mechanical keyboard buyer's guide, but the wait is over. This is the 2015 mechanical buyer's guide for 2015. Jack put 2015 in there three times. See, I'm counting the time that I said that he put it in twice. In the script, I'm not just ad-libbing things to make him look stupid, but what? Is your membrane keyboard trying to kill you? Find out the answer and which mechanical keyboard you can buy to replace it at 11. Since the last keyboard's guide, there have been two big trends in mechanical keyboards. The usage of non-Cherry MX key switches and RGB lighting. But that's not to say that there are no longer plain Jane mechanical keyboards. In fact, why don't we start there? If you're looking for a fairly basic mechanical keyboard with no bells and whistles, this is the ASIO MGK. It's just a standard keycap layout with white LEDs for those nighttime gaming sessions or whatever else it is you're doing at night. Plus, it comes with a wrist rest. The MGK comes with kale switches, which are quite similar in feel to the corresponding Cherry MX switches of similar color. So the particular one we have here is a brown, which means it is quiet but with a tactile bump compared to a blue switch. You can sometimes find this keyboard on sale for under a hundred bucks. But let's say you have limited desk space and need something a little more compact. You might want to take a look at a 10 keyless layout. Cooler Master's Quick Fire Rapid Eye gets rid of the number pad and also provides LED backlighting. Now, depending on which brand you're shopping for, Razer, for example, calls their 10 keyless keyboards tournament editions because the 10 keyless layout is also better for more natural spacing when you're using the WASD keys and a mouse at the same time for your elbows and your shoulders. So they are definitely good for competitive gaming, but it's up to the individual whether it's worth the trade-off to not have a number pad because if you do a lot of data entry, you might find yourself missing it. But what's that you say? You know, you can have a short keyboard without missing the number pad? Well, yes, I guess you can. This is the Cooler Master TK series. It allows you to save space by integrating the arrow keys into a number pad, so you actually switch modes depending on whether you want to, you know, get your accounting groove on or whether you want to use arrow keys and, you know, print screen and home and insert and all that kind of good stuff. It does take a while to get to used to, but it's not a bad compromise if you don't want to keep two keyboards on your desk like some people I know. Up next is something that's a slight change of pace aesthetically. This is the Ducky Shine 4 with blue and red LEDs. This one is only really in the buyer's guide because it is a rare white keyboard. And while the white is really appealing to the eyes, if you love Doritos and Cheetos, then you might want to skip this one because it won't look very good for long. For those of you looking for something a little more out of the ordinary in terms of switch styles, remember Cherry MXs and Kales feel quite similar, the next two could be for you. This is the Logitech Orion Spark G910 and Toper Type Heaven. Both of these do not use Cherry or even Cherry-like switches. The Orion Spark uses Romer G switches and the Toper uses capacitive switches. So the Orion Spark is RGB illuminated and the Romer G switches are touted to be faster and more durable than traditional switches. The keycaps on this keyboard do have kind of an odd um, angular shape to them, but the feedback from pro gamers is that this actually helps with accuracy, although I personally didn't really find it helped for typing. Another cool feature of the G910 is the integrated cell phone holder, which can actually use Logitech's app to give you real-time feedback. This is a replacement for the classic, you know, originally introduced with the G15 flip-up screen. With the Toper, well, it's probably hardest to describe the overall typing experience and the feel of the keys compared to anything else. The, the switches use a conical spring and rubber dome combo, actually. It almost gives a, a membrane-like feel, 
but with mechanical typing quality. If you get a chance to try one out, maybe at an NCIX store, we highly suggest you check it out before you buy. Keys absolutely loves his. In fact, we had to pry this one out of his hands in order to shoot this guide. But the downside with Topper switches is that you can't get custom keycaps and your keyboard options are fairly limited. Although there is one exception to the custom keycap rule, the Cooler Master Nova Touch series uses like a Topper mechanism, but a Cherry MX compatible stem. So you actually can put on aftermarket keycaps. And finally, if you're the type of person who needs RGB illumination with Cherry MX switches, macro keys, dedicated volume scroll wheel, fully programmable key layouts, all kinds of, you know, cool patterns all over the place, then the Corsair K95 RGB is kind of the Cadillac of all of those things that you specifically asked for. It's like, yeah, I'm shopping for a Cadillac with all these features. Well, I guess this is it. But of course, with great specs comes great price. And if you think that RGB lighting is the bee's knees, NCIX also carries the Chroma lineup of Razer keyboards. But at the time of filming this, they were not in stock. In fact, they've been pretty hard to keep in stock in general. So there you have it. The 2015 NCIX buyer's guides, courtesy of Jack. For mechanical keyboards, if you're interested in any of today's products, you can check out the links in the description below. And while you're there, maybe leave a comment as well. Let us know what you use for a keyboard right now and which keyboard caught your eye. Is your membrane keyboard trying to kill you in your sleep? Find out at 11. Also, like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.